Hello guys, Ivan here and in this video I will show you finally Mercedes AMG G63. So this is the icon, the, yeah, the G class, which everybody wanted to see on my channel. I reviewed the Brabus version, Brabus 700, but uh, yeah, this is like a classic from the factory, classic G63. So here we have not one, but two G63s and other G classes as well, which are AMG line diesel or petrol engine variants. So in this video, I'm going to show you the black one and it is in special edition, which I will tell you about. And also it has a special paint, which is G Manufacture a special paint. Also, if you didn't know, G class now has uh, 34 uh, paint options, which is uh, the most out of every Mercedes-Benz and every Mercedes-AMG models. Let's now dive deep into this interior. You need to slam these doors, guys. <sighs> Finally, after, after almost 1.5 years, I can see this car in person. And uh, <laughs> it's funny because this car is so uh, requested by everybody that uh, it's insane and uh, yeah right now it's here and even in special edition stronger than time so you can see it there so finally I shot the Brabus uh, version of uh, G class G63 but this is original G63 without the Brabus but with the Brabus wheels so let's check out here uh, the interior we can see beautiful ambient lighting here in this uh, door handle this diamond stitched leather in the doors and we have here controls for the seats and this is seat heating seat ventilation super loud closing mechanism it's like loading uh, a gun or something so uh, really really this is uh, crazy crazy good this carbon fiber here and Dynamica. So let's uh, turn the ignition on here. We can see the AMG logo. Even like a glare in the logo. So this has the latest command system. I will show you now this car from the inside. So we have a gray pearl. This is actually better to see on these seats. So this is gray pearl and this is black Napa leather. And that's uh, in stronger the time in this edition like this you have this soft like uh, headrest so this is the steering wheel i will just turn on the ignition and here emotion start is you do it like that you turn on the ignition then you put this into the sport plus turn off start stop okay now you need to hold one pedal either down or up and simultaneously start the car or you can just press and then hold. So let's do this. Now we can hear this. It's very convenient. The exhaust is here. So it's super convenient to shoot. I don't even need to get out of the car. So this is, this is amazing. Just hear this. I need to slam the doors, obviously. Every time, uh, yeah, I cannot decide if this is my favorite AMG or the four door. There is also four door with Brabus wheels and other G63 in matte olive. <laughs> so yeah, GTR Pro, I showed already that. It's crazy, this, this, this showroom is insane. So yeah, we can see here the Dynamica on the sides. Here is like a carbon fiber, I call it like, a, it's like a liquid. So this has like a lacquer on it, so beautiful. You like x you can touch this, but this is smooth. It's not like, a, yeah, insane. And we have AMG logo here. These are the dials from AMG One and the hypercar from Mercedes and you can uh, press here 
and then exhaust will be quieter okay if you press on the display then you can change for example here manual or automatic drive auto start stop traction control this is exhaust and here you have a mg ride control so you can put this into the sport sport plus comfort or you can change it up so yeah so so nice and here you can change the dynamic select so we have a sleeper remote individual mode comfort sport and sport plus so we can see immediately how in sport plus the refs are idling uh, on a high refs it's idling so nice so we have these vents here and here we can see Burmester sound system which looks very similar to that to the indicator we have these two digital panels 12.3 inch screens we have marker here in black I can turn on the engine so we can so you can hear me better and so it's not light link without the purpose so yeah guys this is magnificent we have here the differential locks so here you can see this is front diff let me zoom in this is uh, middle diff and this is rear diff so if you press them they will like light up on orange and red and then you can go uh, like in super super heavy off-road in normal off-road you don't even need that so yeah we have start button and also st auto start stop so the, you can turn this off so we have this middle console it's in carbon fiber as well two cup holders and the socket 12 volt socket here you probably put the key fob i think if your uh, battery dies yeah here is the logo and this is middle armrest very soft beautiful napa leather so as you can see a lot of things can fit here like uh, chewing gums and <laughs> cables yeah a lot of things so these are the amg seats for the g-class so we can see here this diamond uh, cut diamond stitching and perforated leather so this is pearl gray pearl and black combination very very nice i really like this actually <laughs> who wouldn't right so we have here the ambient lighting let's change the let's change the colors here so we can put this you have 64 colors this is not touch screen that's like maybe maybe one minus of this car so with the multicolor options we have here the ocean blue then we have uh, so it looks like this then we have a uh, purple sky red moon fire red dawn blue sun yellow jungle green you can see there is stripe and also you can see here are some stripes this is glacier blue i call this uh, petronas blue you have also it here during night this is more visible but yeah it's really really amazing so here we have the carbon fiber trim around the displays and here on top of uh, is uh, AMG Nappa leather, some vents, stitching and uh, these are the pedals good to press we have this rubber all weather all year not all year but winter winter rubber tires they look like original because they have G in the same font like a G class so yeah these are the winter floor mats here you have a glove compartment car manual this is the mg private lounge envelope so we can sign up for private lounge 
and this is uh, yeah, manual to the cars so that's that and the door packets are huge you can see there is a Burmester as well door packets are huge and the carbon fiber trim here beautiful leather here so yeah amazing amazing we have here AMG logos and check the check these out S65 facelift S65 pre facelift okay game over so you can close this manually because why not it's it looks uh, more badass if it's not electric and you can open the panorama roof here with the button for ventilation or you can open it fully here to have a fresh air and yeah you can hear uh, surroundings better and get a 10 <laughs> so that's great and it's lightly tinted the, the panorama glass so here we can see uh, you have a light here microphone uh, this is mirror obviously and you can grab this it wouldn't uh, fall off don't worry <laughs> so that's great and uh, what we have as else here so here with these buttons here you have a dynamic select so if you press it you will change it from uh, this mode so you have slippery mode individual you can set it up how you want then we have a comfort mode sport and sport plus is the the most sportiest here amg right control a manual or automatic drive traction control turn it off volume home button button back uh, exhaust button 360 camera low range this is for for the off-road and beautiful uh, iwc schaffhausen clock so it's here and we have uh, some buttons here for navigation, radio, media. This is for the AC. Uh, this is this is auxiliary heating, so you can preheat the car from the app, from the phone. To so have here suede leather. And also here on the top, speaker Burmeister on the top, so we have a surround sound. So let's check out here the displays. So you can have here the performance with the boost temperature of the gearbox and engine. Then you have uh, these modes which you can change. You have uh, AMG track pace. So super, super modern. And you can uh, put this in different design. So you have a sport, it looks like this, one dial. And it will go red if you want to shift. And then you have a classic and then uh, progressive so my favorite is classic or sport we have also here like a carbon fiber and here you can put also like a navigation so it's super you can control it here on the steering wheel service so you can see tire temperature when is the service engine oil level assistant so super super cool so here in the middle display command display you have basic stuff like navigation uh, radio media telephone in-car office connect vehicle and in vehicle you have ambient lighting and also the first one is so we have seats climate control so in seats we have a massage so it seems we have massage, lumbar support, so super, super cool. Climate control, this is so advanced. And yeah, similar from other Mercedes vehicles and the MG vehicles. So here in system, you can change other things as well. So super, super nice. Okay guys, so let's put the seat how I would drive. Let's check out the rear seats. Okay, so nice, wow.
so brutal. So ambient lighting is present also in the rear seats. This is how it looks from the rear seat and it looks uh, incredible. So yeah. I'm speechless when I see this car, but yeah, I need to speak because this is a review. <laughs> so here we have also illumination and the G letter. So this is all weather matte also at the rear. And let me show you how this looks in the darkness. We have here the handle with the illumination, Burmester sound system. This is the handle, uh, heated seats. You can put down glass here, it is double. Privacy glass in double form. And we have these locks, these loud locks. So yeah, so, so nice. You have here also the AC for the rear, so you can choose uh, the fan level and the temperature. You have these uh, vents also, and also it's present here. So these are uh, the rear seats. They have also this cut here and uh, perforated leather. And the diamond cut also in the doors. And the armrest here. like this you can also I think you can open this also from the rear like a ski hatch and you have two cup holders here I'm doing e this without the light so you can see how this looks with ambient light this is like a night simulation the suede ladder here on the top and we have a handle a little light here hanger another one we have went here and what is interesting in the G-Class, here is like an open space, so let me show you. This is uh, here the, <laughs> the boot space and it's like, a, yeah, it's open. So you can see here, I will show you that from the outside. So, so nice here. So guys, here at the rear, I have a... A lot of space as you can see this is like I don't know like 30 centimeters I'm 186 centimeters or six feet and between one and two inch and I have super super a lot of space here and also for my knees so I will show you that uh, in a second yeah this is my knee room and I have like this much space the, the G class grown in length as well significantly so you have a lot of space here before it was not like this in previous generation. So they make a great adjustment in terms of the size and how cool is this. All right guys, so let's open the door and check out the rear boot space. But first, let's check out uh, these doors. So they have the same upholstery like in the interior and also the carbon fiber on the handle. So how gorgeous is this? It's uh, really crazy. And there you can see the spare tire actually. So this uh, boot size is 454 liters, which uh, I would say is not a lot, but uh, in terms of the number. But when you are looking at the boot, you, was, you would say, wow, this is really large. And that's uh, the number up to this, uh, like a roller, uh, which separates actually the cargo space. But if you would uh, buy like a cage, which is sitting behind the rear seats, uh, then you can fill uh, the boot up to the top. And then you have like thousand liters, maybe even more. So you would have like super large uh, boot space. And you have all rubber mats and you can tow also with this car. You have subwoofer there, as you can see on the left side. And also on the bumper, you have this like a sandpaper decors. That's really interesting. So overall, that's a really utility vehicle. And yeah, guys, that's it from this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.